President Biden announced plans to send new air defenses to Ukraine yesterday at the opening of the summit. And Biden says the U.S., Germany, the Netherlands, Romania and Italy will provide Ukraine with the equipment for five additional strategic air defense systems. Ongoing support for Ukraine and the war against Russia is a top priority at the summit. Joining us live now is J.J. Green, national security reporter with our news partners at WTOP. Great to have you here again with us this morning. Uh, J.J. I want to start by asking you what you made of Biden's speech and the impact on NATO attendees. I feel like every stage for Biden counts now, especially after that debate and all these calls from lawmakers on both sides of the aisle for him to step down as a candidate for president. Yeah, that's right, Adriana and Robert. Good morning. Um, that uh, moment yesterday for the president was a scripted moment. It was a key scripted moment. And according to sources and officials that I've spoken to, it was an important moment because it showed exactly what they expected from him and what he has done many times over the years. But what some said was not there was the unscripted. And that's really what I think a lot of people are concerned about what was uh, going on during that particular debate with Donald Trump, the unscripted. So they appreciated what they saw yesterday. They were happy about it, um, but they're still a bit concerned about what happens in the off scripted moment. So we'll have to wait and see what happens in the future with that. Yeah, understood. So why is this Ukraine assistance package that was announced so critically important? Well, 43 people, Adriana, were killed um, a couple days ago in uh, Ukraine, and, and that's a small number compared to the total, the tens of thousands that have been killed since this war started, not just in 2022, but since 2015 when it started in earnest. Uh, and uh, Russia continues to uh, ramp up its aggression. It's looking for more opportunities and striking a school rather a, a hospital a children's hospital was a bridge too far for many people who've been looking the other way uh, about uh, regarding russia's activity so what's important now is that ukraine get what it needs to stop this once and for all and hopefully nato will play a key role by doing what you just said uh, germany netherlands romania italy and the u.s providing these key systems for them we are almost out of time but i want to squeeze in one more question uh, how is the summit and all the developments being watched by by U.S. and NATO enemies who are looking for weaknesses to exploit. Yeah, a lot of people don't think about this, but uh, one of the key enemies here or adversaries is Russia. It has an active uh, embassy in Washington and it uses that embassy, as it does in many other cases, uh, to spy on the U.S. And uh, the D director of national intelligence also talked about Iran earlier this week, using any uh, opportunity it can to foment discord and in some cases, funding protesters to protest against the US US systems and even NATO and don't forget Russia and it, it, Russia and Iran are partners now. All right, JJ, thank you so much for your time again this morning and your expertise. We You're appreciate welcome. it and we'll see you tomorrow. You're welcome. Looking forward to it.